today and I am just having nice music in the background and as you can see my brows are done and they look so natural I love them already and they make me feel like a beautiful gorgeous black woman okay <laughs> So my makeup artist Diane is here with me and uh, wow, she is about to do an amazing job on me. Diane! <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Diane, a makeup artist and basically just an artist and also an IT student at Strathmore University and we're here today at Rongai. They love Rongai. Yes, we're so excited. <laughs> yes, we're so excited. We're just about to do Rupi's makeup as you guys watch. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, share everything about us. Just love us, right? Yes. <laughs> so she will just continue with my makeup and you guys will see me transform to basic Rupi to Bougie Rupi. God, I just can't say that. <laughs> First of all, the first thing you do is comb the hairs up mm -hmm. and when you comb them up, they give you a shape of how the brow sh should go. Mm -hmm. So everyone has a different brow shape following their face shape or their eye shape mm -hmm. and so you have to follow that. Mm -hmm. So my brows can be the same as your brows mm -hmm. because you all have different face shapes and different eye shapes. Okay. So once you get to see how the hairs are coming along after you brush them upwards, uh -huh. you draw a line at the bottom. Yeah. like. So, mm -hmm. then you just do it lightly, don't like press, you just mm -hmm. do it lightly, mm -hmm. as we are trying to fill in, we are not drawing brows, we are filling in mm -hmm. the brows mm -hmm. to make them look natural mm -hmm. and similar to our own brows. Okay. So once you do that, you draw the short strokes mm -hmm. upward, because mm -hmm. you the hair up. Mm -hmm. Then the end, you fill them and make the tail as pointed and as dark as you want it or yeah. right mm -hmm. obviously not very dark because mm -hmm. you have to your brows have to be the same hair color as your hair okay so diane uh did you make up on men yes and how regularly do you do that because not every day a man wears makeup mm -hmm. so guys some of them prefer to wear makeup only when they will have maybe a shoot mm -hmm. or they are going on TV or they have their wedding. Mm -hmm. yes. But the only makeup, I won't call it only, but the makeup you put on guys yeah. is just concealer to cover the dark spots and to brighten the under eyes. Because mm -hmm. you know most people have dark under eyes mm -hmm. under the eyes. Because of sleep, stress, stress, yes, exactly. <laughs> so that's what you do. You just put concealer under the eyes mm -hmm. to brighten it and even out the skin tone or anywhere that they have pimples, mm -hmm. and then you powder their face. So once you've blended it and it all evens, you have first to use a lighter shadow. So that a lighter shade of the concealer so that your makeup will look so that the eyeshadow will pop like if it's a green it will look greener mm -hmm. if it's a red it will look redder than it would have mm -hmm. if you would have not used a base okay. so a base acts as a primer mm -hmm. and it evens out the skin tone around the eyes as you're doing your eyeshadow uh, how did you know like this is my pigments because most times when we, our makeup is done, like us dark people, mm -hmm. we get a shade of lighter. Mm -hmm. And it's a professional makeup artist and mm -hmm. you're, you're thinking, why? Why am I, why am I brighter or lighter on this side of my face? And oh, meaning dark, because I am literally a dark skin, you know? Mm -hmm. And most times when I get my makeup done, it's done the wrong way. Like I'm so light. And I love my dark skin. And the darker the better. Mm -hmm. Darker the berry. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. But mm -hmm. I'm just saying, like I love it when my skin is just dark. Your skin. Like my skin tone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most times I have that issue of you know, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, my skin is acne prone. Mm -hmm. 
so what would you advise for people like me who are prone to acne? Um, it is advisable to match from this angle. You match from here because you have to match your face with your neck and your this part is called the decolate. So you match your ne your chin, neck and decolate. It has to match and be on the same hue, at least even if it's not on the same exact color. Because most people have dark necks like me and they're brighter here. So if I matched my face to my neck, I would look darker. So I match my face to my decolat. Then I put the foundation all the way down to my neck to make it even. So that's how you match your foundation. Don't match it on your hand. Don't match it on your forehead. Don't match it on your cheeks. Match it on your chin, your neck, and the decolat. So you check how the hue matches. And you can place it and maybe it seems lighter so you have to blend all the way and see how it matches. Because when you just place and you check, it may not just be the correct one. So when you blend, it might match and maybe when you place it, it looks lighter. Okay. So that's how we get the skin shape. The second question she asked is how to deal with acne prone skin. Mm -hmm. First of all, you have to check how long you've had the acne. Um, uh, sometimes it's hormonal, sometimes it's just what you eat. And other times it's how you relate with yourself, whether you touch your face during the day, how you take care of your skin and what you put in. You know you are what you eat. So eat less of junk if you're acne prone. Wash your face at least twice every day because the oils of the day, if you go to bed with them, they clog your pores. Also, you drink enough water because of course too much of everything is poisonous, even too much of what is poisonous. Just drink enough water, up to two liters a day. Um, check your lifestyle. If you go drinking, drink a lot of water. If you smoke, also drink a lot of water because they hydrate you. Yes. And also check your pillowcase, especially if you're acne prone. You should like sleep on a pillowcase one side today. Change it the other side the next day. Get rid of the pillowcase and use another pillowcase. So you change your pillowcase every two days, that's if you're acne prone. Uh, also, you should just change your pillowcase and sheets regularly. Check your pillow also, the fibers, air it most of the times. Don't touch your face during the day. All this stuff help you to take care of your skin and have clear skin, acne free. Alright guys, I'm guilty as charged because I ate a lot of junk, literally all my food is just junk and I take a lot of soda. Wow, so much for being me. So we are brightening the back of her face that the light hits. of the dark circles yeah. you can see the difference she looks more woke on the side that will be brightened wow <laughs> the other side looks not woke dullish yes dullish yeah but this is really brighter than this other side yes. yeah. 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 I 
didn't even know it was crochet first. Mm -hmm. I just thought maybe at some point I should learn how to knit. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking of those, you know, those long stuff yeah. that you knit with. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I was thinking about that. Then now I went to YouTube and started looking at tutorials. Guys, YouTube Academy. Yes, YouTube Academy. <laughs> YouTube Academy. Uh -huh. Yes, so I went to YouTube. I checked um, a few tutorials. So I tried the first time the project failed. It wasn't as nice, but I kept it. I tried the second time. Again, it failed. So now I decided to like try mm -hmm. a third time. And then I made a sling bag also. And I just combined different, I didn't follow a specific tutorial when I was doing it at that time. I combined a few techniques and patterns for different people to make it. So it was really a journey, I wouldn't say a very long one, but yes, I tried and failed. And then now I started doing it during Malaysia because I feel like we are so antisocial at this end. Most of the time, people on their phones, on their computers, watching movies, doing such stuff. So sometimes, you know, it's good to unwind. And when you're knitting, it's addictive. It's like reading a book or watching a series. So you just keep knitting and knitting and knitting. And it's interesting and it's art and it's crafty and it's fun. Okay. So as she made this, of course, and she made a. Is this a tanto? Um, it's a strapless sish bra. Uh, I think it's a tube, yeah? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like it's a tube because this is how you wear it. Mm -hmm. It's really nice and comfortable and you don't see through because I don't think you can see through me, yeah? And uh, this is amazing for me, color. This is why I said, that is beautiful because this is just my color, yeah? You can wear it with any. Yeah, I see it with a bag. Yes, and it's a sling bag. A sling bag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can put your things there, your phone, your keys, when you're just running errands around. Don't need a big bag. Yeah. And it's so beautiful. I love the colors. Yeah. And Captain Viana Takayaki. I think. Manzemi, Captain, and Wakasana. Nona, you get Captain. A Marvin. A Marvin. A Rasta. A Marvin. I'm in a Kansa dress, so you can imagine. It's a Marvin. Rasta Marvin. Yes, we also, I also do Marvins. Mm -hmm. And um, scarves. Oh, yeah, scarves, yeah. Yeah, and, and you can get uh, MC Captain at MC Captain 254 and of course me at Ruby 254. And you can also see my gorgeous outfit at my page. Make sure. <laughs> and, also, and also, rather, oh my god, I'm so happy. Oh, you're missing the beat. <laughs> I'm missing the beat. But you can get me at uh, Ruby 254 and make sure to follow us at Made in Kenya 1. We support our own, we support talent, we support art and craft, music fashion and anything that is made in Kenya. That's why we're made in Kenya. Make sure to follow DJ Africana on his social media platforms. Like his music, he's a DJ, we love him and he's not here today. We always have him, he had an exam. I think, yeah, and a captain of the Tonya for right? I'm so happy to have Diane on the show today and she's amazing. Yeah, we don't know, we, we like him deal with people like that yeah and made in kenya is just the platform to be if you want us to get to your place come to you we come to you actually because we came to diana rather diane i'm sorry so and we we loved it we love rungai we love um tire 125 and we can't wait to get back here with uh, to see your new products your new uh, rather products mm -hmm. <laughs> because for makeup makeup is just this and she can do amazing makeup for you and your loved ones weddings uh graduations any ceremony that you want to and i think it's just really amazing to have her and we thank her guy for you <laughs> and made in kenya is just here for everyone else and we, we are glad we're so humbled you made it here so guys, uh, thanks for being with us. We have been in Rungai, Tire 125, and this is Made in Kenya, where we take all things entertainment, fashion, art, music, and everything that is made in Kenya. Remember, I'm your girl, Ruby254. <laughs> Say your handle today. Uh, for underscores, D-I-A-N-E, and another underscore, Diane. I don't know why she did put for underscores, but it's okay. <laughs> we'll follow you, Diane, for underscores, Diane and then an, an, another underscore yeah mm -hmm. so make sure to follow us we love you made in Kenya all right Bye.